Hey guys, welcome to a walkthrough of my latest free template, the counter template. So head over to my Patreon page and there, there is a free post where you can download it. So once downloaded, you can uh, basically open it up in Resolve or in Fusion standalone. So right now I'm showing it in DaVinci Resolve because I think most of you use that. But later on, I'll swap over to Fusion standalone as well. So uh, we've got an empty project here and I'll drag in a Fusion composition. I'll change the duration to something like 500 frames, but depends on what you want, of course. Then we'll head over to the Fusion tab and go to File, Import, Fusion Composition. Then import it and there you go. So all you need to do then is go to the last node, the ambient occlusion and add a media out. Like so. And let's dis display that. And there we go. So our sort of YouTube-like counter. Um, and this will work straight away. Uh, it will render a little bit slow maybe. Well, not too bad. But when you're working, it may be better to just show the merge instead of the full render. There you can see it. You can also see another camera moving. So this is displaying the front camera, but there's also a moving camera in here. That's the one here. And in the renderer, you can then see if you want to change it to the front camera or the moving camera. And the moving camera, of course, you can change the movement yourself. Um, but let's leave it as is right now. So let's head over to the meat of it. So this is where you've got the variables. So you can see them here, start counter and end counter. Basically means where does it start, where does it end? So if you want to start at 99, then if you go to the start of the composition, you see it starts at 99, it ends at 500 or maybe at 200, whatever you want. The delay basically means like how many frames do you want it to be static before it starts? Right? That may be a little bit important to your use case. And the hold basically means as to how long should it hold it before the end of the composition. So if your composition is say 500 frames, then as of frame 480, it will have reached the counter end or the end counter 200, right? So it holds it then for 20 further frames. Um, so the digits, uh, this basically says how many digits will you see, right? Anything from one to, to five, but let's actually display the actual render here. And let's zoom in a bit so that we can see what we're doing. So heading back to the variables. Um, so I said, right, so the digits, that works beautifully. Uh, also the gap in between the digits will work, right? So if you don't want to have any gap at all, Bob's your uncle. Um, the offset, right, where do you want to have it uh, displayed? So you can move it around. Uh, the Y offset, of course, as well. Uh, the scale is basically does exactly what you would expect it to do, right? It scales it up or down. Text offset and X and Y, again, quite, quite self-explanatory. Width adjustment, you can adjust the overall width. So here, for instance, right, we may want to make it smaller. now. It only really covers this canvas or the, the sort of the background. And actually this is, uh, yeah, you can see here things going a little bit wrong. Now, if you see that happening, right, you just need to head over here to the UV map of the background and you can make that fit again. Okay, so that can happen from time to time depending on whether or not you use a texture and such. Um, so that is really the meat of it. Now, of course, what you also can do, you can count backwards. That, that will work as well, right? So you can see it here. It will hold for five frames and then we'll start counting backwards until it gets to frame 480-ish and then it's done, right? And then it will hold for another 20 frames. So really that is all there is to the template as such. Now you can do an awful lot more though, right? So uh, these are just the base parameters, but I can imagine you want to change the color, this, that, and the other, and maybe you don't want to have this play button. 
Uh, that play bit button is over here, the play logo. What you can do if you don't want it, you just unhook it and it's gone. Right? Uh, the text as such, you can change here. Subscribe now or whatever you want to do with it. Here you've got some uh, material for the text, which is just white. I provided a few other ones in here. Right, you can do try this. Oops, let's unhook this and let's hook this one in. Right, sort of eroded metal. Well, that doesn't look very good over here, to be honest. And you can have another clean one. Uh, but you can do all kinds of stuff, right? So you can just basically say, okay, I want to just have a brand new uh, material, pipe it in here, and just play around with it. But whatever you want to do, specular and such. Well, you know how materials work. Similarly, you can do that here for the background. Right here, I've got a YouTube red, as I call it. Uh, I've got another example here. It's a sort of a, a greeny type fabric. Uh, metal. Oh, hold on. Metal. Well, sort of bluish metal. Um, so yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. Uh, and actually to showcase that, well, you saw some of those in the, at the start of the video as well, of course. But let's head, head into Fusion. And here I've got a few loaded, right? Here's sort of a hi-fi components. Maybe this is not really that beautiful, I have to say. But in any case, here you also have one where I built a rim around it, which you can see in this, no, this example as well. So it's sort of a guitar amp type example, right? It's got a nice rim around here and a rim in here. Now I will make probably uh, one or two of these templates available as well. The one with uh, some more fancy stuff around it, like this one. Uh, but just let me know if you're interested or not. Now, one thing I hadn't mentioned yet is this uh, digit divider. So that's basically the background material. If you have a gap between the digits, there's a different a color here that's determined here so you can set it to whatever right so i think that was really all there was to it uh, but if you do have any questions do let me know and in the meantime have a great day see you later take care bye bye